the weather's going to be warm today, so you want to make sure that your, your mind doesn't get bothered by the heat. Remember the story of a John Fuang out in the woods? A storm came up in the middle of the night, and all he had was his umbrella tent. which wasn't much protection against the wind and the rain. So he put all of his robes, except for his underrobe, in his bowl to keep them dry. And he sat there meditating. The theme of his meditation was, the body may be wet, but the mind isn't wet. And with that as his meditation topic, he was able to sit through the storm and not suffer. And the same today, the same principle today. The weather outside may be hot, the air may be hot, but your mind doesn't have to be hot along with it. If it just keeps saying hot, 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 okay, that brings the problem outside, inside. But if you can see that your awareness is one thing and the heat is something else, then you continue meditating. You can find a nice shady spot, rest, make sure you get plenty of water, plenty of salt. All you have to do is stay with the breath. Make that your preoccupation. Don't be preoccupied with the heat. Because it's our perceptions that we bring in that stab the mind, or they can comfort the mind, or they can focus it on where the real work is to be done, which of course is inside, which is what you want to do. So you stay with the breath to bring the mind into the present moment, and then you watch the mind as is with the breath to see if it's doing anything that's adding any unnecessary stress or suffering. If you can catch yourself doing that, just drop it. If it comes back again, drop it again. If it's insistent, you have to be insistent, too. Don't get upset just because you drop it once and it comes back. If it's an old habit, it takes many, many times of dropping, dropping, dropping to get used to. When this kind of thing comes, you just drop it. You don't have to take it seriously. You don't have to listen to what it's saying. That way you can train the mind to be your friend and rather than being your enemy. In other words, it shows you the right way to think about things what to focus on, what not to focus on. This is your present karma, your intention, your attention in the present moment, your perceptions in the present moment, and they can make a huge difference. We can't change the weather outside, but we can change our perceptions, we can change what we're paying attention to, and we can change our intention, which in this case is, well, allow the heat to be there. You can't prevent it. But you don't have to go messing with it, you don't have to get involved with it. Your intention is to stay with the breath. And that changes your experience of the day entirely. So be sure that even though it may be hot outside, it's not hot in the mind. The mind isn't hot. The mind is just aware. Keeping things simple like this cuts through a lot of problems. It's the same principle as when the Buddha said, if someone is yelling at you, just tell yourself an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear, and you leave it at the ear. You don't bring it into the mind. In the case of the heat, okay, an unpleasant contact has made contact to the body. Heat isn't all that bad. Think about the times in the winter when you'd like to have some heat. Well, here's the heat. As long as you don't overexert yourself and as long as you don't go sitting out in the sun, you're going to be okay. That's for the body, and as long as your mind doesn't go stirring up issues around the heat, the mind will be okay as well. 